hyphen American. You ask what I am, where I come from, and this is all I can say. I stayed up all night formulating this thesis, so please listen well so you won't ask again. I am hyphen American. I've memorized the slash between African and American. I know you've har tried hard, changed my name from nigger to negro to African American to black. Hope the work didn't give you a heart attack. See, you're right, we're moving up the ladder, got away from the back of the bus, even stay in the White House every now and then. Send Jesse Jackson to speak for us on behalf of red, white, and blue. But you see, I told you already, I've memorized my name, and it doesn't matter if you've erased the N-word from your vocabulary, told your kids it's not nice to say that. I've memorized my name. See, right now, that slash be the border, the bridge, the checkpoint to let me know that even though I I live here in this country. I love here too. My parents clean toilets in college in this country. I may have lost friends in 9-11 too, but that slash be the line I know not to cross. That slash be my mother's accent, strong and thick like Arabic coffee. That slash be my brother's paralyzed body, deported back to Nigeria because he wasn't a citizen. It's really okay, I understand where I belong. You can change the names, rearrange the terms of the debate, but now I'm an other, an evildoer. The Arab you stop at the airport, the Arab boy bloodied by cowardly fists on his way to school, the day after September 11th. I am nothing safe, I am nothing comfortable like your new lazy boy sofa. I am the one who makes you lock your doors at night, keep your kids out of sight, and I've memorized my name. I told you already, I know this game, the slash, the distance between you and me to let me know that you're American and I'm African American or African in America or just plain wrong. That slash be the look on my face the day the government declared Nigeria a possible terrorist country in the world and what do I do now? What flag do I claim? What if it's not about governments or terrorists? What if it's about my cousins begging for bread and the broken promise of a full belly back home? What if it's about faces of family you've etched in your mind, hold close to your chest? What if it's about black women looking for more than minimum wage and welfare to work that doesn't ever seem to work? What if it's about my very own mother and father from the land you call other foreign terrorists? And while I'm on the subject, I thought I'd set the record straight. I am everything American. I am the hope of my whole Nigerian village, my mother's dream to find me more than one meal a day. I am the border patrol agent whose last name is Gutierrez or Luna or Gonzalez, pointing a gun at the same woman who took his mother across the border years ago. I am hands picking cotton so most Americans can enjoy cotton sheets. I am the belly dancing class you call exotic, the hummus and pita bread you call California cuisine. I am your safari chip. Let that sink in. <laughs> We're going to church, okay? I am your safari trip to Africa where you spend the night in the fanciest hotels, take photos of black women riding elephants, and come back to say you've traveled all over the continent. So I don't know why you call me foreign or other, because you've eaten my food, called it your genius creation. Stop. You've dug into my land and between my thighs, called anything you've laid your hands on yours. By now, the Statue of Liberty should be a pregnant third world woman with a baby slung on her back, balancing a bucket of water on her head. Yeah. Yeah. That should be what you see when you reach these shores, because I am everything American, nothing foreign. The border you've already crossed come to ask you, where are your papers? Ooh. Ooh.